While it may be impossible to know the origins of the secret, it's obviously something that took a hold of humanity so much that it's now one of the backbones of our society. Everyone has secrets, some are just bigger and more impactful than others. And when it comes to certain bodies of power, there's very little doubt that they have secrets that could shatter the world a million times over. And sometimes they keep those secrets in facilities that they make sure no one outside of the proper people will have access to. But are you sure that you know about all of the secret facilities out there? If not, here now are 20 most secret facilities in the world. Number 20. Area 51 Now you may have thought that I would keep the mysterious and infamous Area 51 until the last, but there's no fun in that. I could easily spend an entire video talking about the rumors and alleged secrets about Area 51. And I'm tempted to do that in this video, but I won't. So why not just get it out of the way, since it's the one thing that many of you wonder about the most. Here's what we do actually know about Area 51. First and foremost, it is a very real place, and it is a very real military facility. In fact, I can even tell you exactly where it is and when it was first built. And you can find it on Groom Lake in Nevada, and officially, tests began there around the 1940s and have been going on ever since. As for why it's called Area 51, well, that's a bit tricky, because there was talk about it being because of a map reading, but 51 it's not on the map. The reason it's such an infamous site is that despite it allegedly being built to test aircraft, which it has done in the past, it's most associated with aliens because of the Roswell incident and other mystery incidents that seem to always disappear after going near Area 51. Another reason that, despite it not being talked about by military in various ways, they do go to far lengths to protect the site. It's said to be so secure that it doesn't need a fence to keep people off of it because it has certain radars and sensors and it'll track if even a single person comes onto the property. Plus, they have a shoot-to-kill order for anyone who tries to break into Area 51. In fact, the Air Force didn't even acknowledge its existence until 1998. So that goes to raise the question, if this base is just about testing aircraft, well then, why is it so secretive? Yes, testing the next generation of aircraft away from the prying eyes of other nations, that's understandable, but not to this extent. Plus, they test them in other areas that aren't as heavily fortified as Area 51. Not to mention, no one really knows what's inside of the facility. And if it was only aircraft, would it really warrant such a tight amount of security? Are there aliens in there, or secrets so powerful they could destroy the world and so they need a remote place like this to hide them all? The world will likely never know. The closest that we've ever gotten was the Storm Area 51 event, and outside of one very brave Naruto runner, it just didn't work out. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Take a look at this picture and tell me what comes to mind. Yes, it may look like something straight out of a science fiction film, but apparently it's some kind of building that the Chinese have cooked up, and they're allegedly hiding some really big stuff in there. Allegedly. Curiously, China doesn't show up anywhere else on our list. I did check, and I, you know, do get paid to talk about it. Why is that odd? Well, <laughs> being blunt here, if you were to list places that have world-ending secrets, you would probably point out that China has some that it doesn't want the world to get. And as a result, they likely have numerous secret facilities scattered throughout the country where their head officials can go and do their nefarious plots without worrying about prying eyes. And this isn't only me picking on China. I do know that they're capable of this kind of thing, given what's happened within the country over the last half century and beyond. Ever since adopting communism, they've done everything from trying to get rid of certain populations of people that are natural citizens within their country to take out opposers of their leader's reign and so on. 
there are even those who claim that they have amassed power in such a way that they could truly break the world in a military or economic way should they so desire. Thankfully, they haven't been pushed that far yet. But you can bet that various government powers, not inside of China, are keeping an eye on them and potential secret bases that they have. You know, just in case someone slips up and reveals a location with potentially damaging stuff. You have to remember, this isn't only about a country having secrets. It's about countries having secrets that could wreck everything that we know and believe. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know what you think about what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. Cheyenne Mountain Complex I'm going to shift gears here for a moment to talk about a true government facility that does actually exist, but it's not exactly a secret. However, it is a place that only select few can get into, and it could be one of the last places standing, should the world, you know, ever try and blow itself up. The Cheyenne Mountain Complex can be found in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It actually has a much longer name, but I'm going to spare you. This place exists because during the Cold War, the American government felt it was probably a good idea to have a central command center, you know, should something go wrong, and so they made the Cheyenne Mountain Complex their home. But why in Colorado? Well, while Washington, D.C. is iconic, it's also highly vulnerable to long-range attacks, especially from that period of time. But getting into the heartland of America without being shot down first is not really all that easy. After the Cold War ended, NORAD, the U.S. Air Force, and more moved in and retrofitted it to be their own kind of command center, an early warning system against ballistic attacks, you know, like the nuclear bomb. Over the years, the place has gotten some new functions and even gotten a bit declassified, to the point where certain training operations take place there now. But it still functions as one of the more important facilities that the United States has, due to its location, even with the ICBMs, being in many major powers' hands. And it's hard to hit, and it's been protected internally in its own way. As a result, if a war should break out between the United States and a target, well, that would be willing to hit the nation, it's not unreasonable to think that this place within the mountain would become a key command center in the times to come. When it comes to war, it's better to be safe than to be dead. Number 18. Dolce Base Now here's a base that many of you likely don't know about. I mean, after all, Area 51 gets all of the publicity when it comes to alien containment and experiments and things of the like. But in New Mexico, there's actually a place called Dolce Base that is equally as infamous, and there are people who swarm this tiny town to try and get a glimpse of what's supposedly really going on there. As just about any real estate person would tell you, it's all about location, location, location. And Dolce, New Mexico is quite the location because of how it's a simple little town of just about 3,000 people who don't even have a traffic light to guide them at times, and yet, they have a military base right next to them, which is kind of odd. Equally odd is the numerous rumors that have come out thanks to sightings around the place. For example, there was a sheriff who claimed that there were cattle mutilations, odd craft in the sky, and gas masks that were left behind that were clearly for people, which he had tied to being due to alien and government involvement. Then there was a government engineer who helped build Dolce and said that there was a battle between alien forces and the government as they tried to build the little town. As with all things, the more rumors spread, the more people will begin to wonder about the mysterious Dolce base, whether it be real or not, and what exactly was happening in this small town. All sorts of people came out of the woodwork with their own claims about what this place is and is not and the odd activities that claim to have happened there. To be clear, some of the things did happen there, like cattle mutilations, and there are even pictures of local law enforcement looking into it. But was it aliens? Was it a government conspiracy? Or was it something else entirely? The truth is out there, maybe. Number 17. Mesgori, Russia now don't worry, I'll be back to the United States momentarily, as they have plenty of facilities left for me to talk about. But for now, we're heading to Russia to have a look at a strange place. Specifically, it's a place that is so odd that even the people of Russia believe that there's something hinky going on here. So, what is this weird little place? Well, that's the thing. Information on it is precariously scarce. 
We do know that at last count, the population was only about 17,000. We do know that it's located in Russia, near the Ural Mountains, and that the government has swatted down rumors of it being anything more than a regular mining town. But that really hasn't stopped any kind of rumors from going crazy in the past, so why should it stop now? The biggest rumor is that the town is secretly a nuclear base, or has one near it that the government protects, and curiously, the status of the town is closed. In a way, that means that you have to talk directly to the government to even get certain information about it. Not what you would expect from a so-called simple little town. For the record, Russia does have nuclear weapons, and it absolutely is believable that they have secret bases with some of these weapons so that they can be kept safe from enemies, even if it's just to know where they are. And using a small town to hide a secret or two is sadly something that Russia has done multiple times in the past. Is this where one of those bases are? It is hard to say, but then again, I wouldn't put it past them. Number 16. Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center That is a long name, but this is not only a key secret facility for the United States, it's a place where many officials will go if things go wrong on the natural front. Now, first and foremost, the daily operations of the Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center is for FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Long story short, they are the people who react to things like natural disasters and try to get things fixed up and supplies to go to certain places. The reason I'm breaking it down here is because if there was something to happen in Washington, D.C., where the government buildings and such were hit by, you know, like a tornado or a hurricane, a tsunami or something else that could be defined as a natural disaster, well, those government officials and other high-ranking civilians would be brought to the Mount Weather Emergency Operations Center so that the government could still function and the country wouldn't fall into chaos. Unless you think that this place hasn't been active on that front, you'd be quite wrong. The center has been around for many years, and during the events of 9-11, several key members of Congress were flown there to ensure they weren't killed in any potential attacks. Since it's located in Virginia, it's not too far from where most of the government officials are, so you can see the value in it. Number 15. RAF Menwith Hill Now we'll head to the UK for another not-so-secret base that is easily one of the most important in the world. Menwith Hill is run officially by the British Royal Air Force, but it was built and worked with internally alongside the United States. They are allies, so it does make sense for a joint base like this to be built. The base was built in North Yorkshire during the Cold War. They wanted a way to keep an eye on Russia, and the UK was happy to help. Since then, it's become one of the biggest monitoring stations in the entire world. That's significant because it can handle anything from communication monitoring to watching out for potential missile strikes. And as you could imagine, as technology got better, so did the monitoring ability of the facility. There were some ethical concerns brought up by how much that it may or may not have been monitoring, but the British Parliament eventually dubbed it necessary, and then the rest is history. Given its location to certain dangerous powers, many are likely going to be happy that it's there should something go wrong, and it warns people when said things will go wrong. Number 14. Hyannin Data Center Not all secret facilities are meant to be used by the government. Sometimes it's about people who run key civilian functions and don't want their data or abilities to fall into the wrong hand. Such is the case with Sweden's Pyanin Data Center. The place was originally meant to be a shelter for the Swedish government, should the country be attacked, but then it was sold to John Carlung, who happened to be the man behind one of the biggest internet providers in the country. He turned the fallout shelter into a data center to house his servers and willingly transformed it into a science fiction looking place because he loved movies like Silent Running and Logan's Run. See, secret facilities can look exactly how you would expect them to. Due to its original construction and purpose, the place is built straight into the mountain, is heavily secured, and can even withstand the blast of a hydrogen bomb. Not that we want that to be tested. Anyways, it may seem like overkill for a data center to have such protection, but given how important the internet is to many nations, why not go big like that? Number 13. 
Fort Knox. Now, you knew it would come to this place eventually, didn't you? While it may not be as infamous as Area 51, Fort Knox does remain one of the most secure secret facilities in the world for a reason that you should know very well. It houses quite a huge amount of the United States Gold Reserve. That's vital for one simple reason. Currency, as we know it, is valued because of worth that we people give it. But with gold, it's a different story. Gold is valuable, it has a set price that only slightly goes up or down, and thus having a large amount of it ensures that you have the backing for your currency to mean something. And so, the government goes to extreme lengths in order to protect it. They have numerous army bases and forces on the land, they have extreme security measures to keep the gold safe, and in other words, you're not getting close to it, no matter how many Hollywood movies and television shows, which include Scooby-Doo, says that it's easy to do. Number 12. The RAAF Woomera Range Complex To be clear, I'm talking about the RAAF, not the RAF. It's totally different, especially since this is in Australia and not the UK. What is the RAAF Woomera Range Complex? Well, simply put, it's a place where the Australian Air Force and aerospace divisions of the government test out their weapons capabilities. With a sprawling area of approximately 122,188 square kilometers to work in, the complex has done testing and development of missiles, rockets, and aircraft. And just like another secret facility I mentioned before, it's good to have a wide open space in order to test these things without having to worry about the prying eyes of enemies or even your allies. They have a variety of sensors and gadgets to ensure that their data is accurate and their tests are thorough, since the place is still going, it must be doing quite the good job. Number 11. Horton Down Returning to the UK, we now head to one of their most secretive places that's run by one of the government's most secretive divisions. I speak of Porton Down, which, not unlike the place I just talked about, is a testing and development site for scientific and military items. What makes it so curious is that one of the two government entities that reside in this place is the Ministry of Defense's Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, known for over 100 years as one of the UK's most secretive and controversial military research facilities. And when you have controversy, you have rumors, legends, and myths. And yes, those are all different things. The UK Health Security Agency is also there, but they're not as controversial, as far as I can tell anyway. Number 10. Mount Yamantau what better place to put a secret facility than the oh-so-beautifully titled scariest mountain in the world? Now, you must put something there. And for Mount Yamantau in Russia, there is a secret military complex. It was allegedly built back in the 1980s, and the government denied that there was anything going on there. Because, of course, they were going to say that, weren't they? But as time went on, people began to see signs that there was some kind of underground complex taking place, and people wanted to know the truth. Eventually, the base was confirmed to be real. It's more than 100 kilometers long and 600 meters deep. It's rumored to be equipped with a variety of advanced facilities that house potentially tens of thousands of people. More than likely, it's to house government officials and their families should a war break out. Number 9. Fine Gap Now, I'm going to be completely blunt about this next secret base. It may be housed in Australia, but it's partly run by the CIA and the NSA. You know, two of the most secretive and dodgy government agencies in the world. The ones who have secrets that potentially no man or woman will ever get to see because it's too dangerous to let that kind of information out. That's right, they help run this place. This joint surveillance base is a key part of the United States information network, both for scanning for data and intercepting things that their enemies might not want them to have. The data that they also get can help military operations via what they're able to find. What that connection is, I just think it's... One could only imagine all the data that they get in a day and how much of it could potentially change the world if it was ever leaked out. Number 8. Guantanamo Bay Naval Base Now, originally, Guantanamo Bay Naval Base was leased by the United States to Cuba for $2,000. No, really, that's the truth. But eventually it became an infamous prison for enemies of the nation, 
especially during the terror crisis after 9-11, and it was even said by President George W. Bush that legally, the people in their custody didn't have certain legal rights because they weren't on U.S. soil. If you listen to supporters of Guantanamo, this place houses some of the most dangerous people in the world. Other ways, you know, to influence decision makers. But whether that's actually true or not has been heavily debated. And the reason that it hasn't seen itself be shut down is that the United States isn't really sure what to do with the people who do still reside there. Number 7. The Greenbrier Now I have some news for you. If you want, you can go and visit this once great secret facility of the United States, made during the time of President Eisenhower, who had presided over the United States during part of the Cold War. The Greenbrier was a luxury resort that was outfitted to be capable of surviving nuclear warfare so that Congress could be protected in case the war went hot. They made additions to the resort so that it could withstand everything but a direct hit from a nuclear bomb via an underground bunker that was built. Lawmakers would be ushered in. They'd have to remove all their clothes and put them in this chute. If you're a fan of the Fallout games, think of this place like one of the vaults that the survivors were in. It had food and weapons and even communication devices for Congress to deliver messages to the remaining people in the United States, however many that would have been. But now you can tour it and see just how seriously that the Cold War was taken and how far the United States had to go to try and protect themselves during that period of time. Number 6. The Pentagon The Pentagon was constructed back in World War II by the United States to be the home of the Department of Defense, and ever since then, all manner of secrets have gone both in and out of that facility, and I'm not exaggerating about that in the least. Ironically, it's technically an office building. It's just one where the office happens to house the government and world secrets every single day. It's honestly hard to describe everything that takes place in there, because nobody really knows. However, due to its symbolism, it's been the focus of many a protest and, of course, was one of the buildings that was damaged during the attacks of 9-11. Number 5. Raven Rock Mountain Complex Do you want to know the reason why the Greenbrier is no longer a secret go-to place for the United States government? Well, that's because they have new and better ones to go to. One such place is the Raven Rock Mountain Complex. This place is so important that they've dubbed it the Underground Pentagon and I just showed you how important that place is. The bunker has emergency operations centers for the United States Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and so if a war were to break out and the United States felt their natural bases were in danger thanks to nuclear weapons, the heads of the military would race there to oversee things and give their commands. It's a nuclear bunker, so the place could withstand a strike if one just so happened to hit. Number 4. Hayakuri Air Base Now this one's just a little bit weird. Compared to all the other places I've talked about, this air base in Japan was once a naval base for the nation, and then after the Second World War, it became a part of the Japanese Self-Defense Force. There's nothing really odd about all that, but the thing is that while it is and was and might still be an airport and air base, they don't really fly planes out of it. In fact, it just is kind of there. People who have protested the building's existence because it doesn't do a whole lot, yet the taxpayers, well, it costs them a lot of dollars all the time to keep it running. So maybe there is a secret inside of it, and if so, nobody really knows what it is. Number 3. ADX Florence Not all secret facilities are meant for government protection. Sometimes it really is about the people, and for ADX Florence in Colorado, that's exactly what's going on. What is this place? Well, it's a maximum security prison, and when I say maximum, I do mean maximum. If you are one of the most dangerous criminals in the United States, short of terrorism, you're likely going to be sent there so that you can rot away and do nothing at all to harm anyone ever again. The place is so locked down that they don't even allow the prisoners to eat together. They deliver their meals to their cells by hand. So if you do happen to go there, you're not ever going to get out. Number 2. Kapustin Yar Remember how I told you that Russia likely has multiple secret facilities to house their missiles or 
fire them without being spotted? Well, some of the locations are not so secret, and Kapustin Yar is one of them. This was a place set up during the Soviet Union, and it is still active today. It's located near some small towns and has been used for various missile testing over the years. The last known test at the site was in 2008, which is still pretty recent. While it's not the most prominent missile launch site anymore, the fact that it's open for business should still give people pause. Number 1. HAARP We began in the United States and we will certainly end there when we talk about a facility known as HAARP, aka the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. The goal of this place may not be what you think. It's located in Alaska and was built to study parts of the Earth's atmosphere, specifically the ionosphere. Naturally, it was eventually turned into a site to see if they could use the atmosphere to send radio waves or even surveil enemy nations. But eventually, it went back to being used for studying the atmosphere of the planet. Which, if you forgot, is an important part of the world. And while it is home to many of the conspiracy theories of the world, it should be noted that control of the facility and all of its devices has been turned over to the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In other words, it's not under government control anymore. Allegedly. And that's all from the realm of secret facilities that various governments and secret parties keep you out of for one reason or another. Can you say that you knew all about these secret facilities before coming to this video? And which one do you feel is the best kept secret? Perhaps you know of one that I might have missed. As always, you can let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.